Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to First Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, on the occasion of His Highness's successful medical treatment. His Royal Highness wished His Highness good health and happiness and wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Rafah Palace the Philippines President's Special Envoy to the GCC, Dr. Amabel Aguilas, who is currently on an official visit to the Kingdom. During the meeting, Dr. Aguilas conveyed the greetings of the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, and his wishes of continuous prosperity and development for the Kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asked Dr. Aguilas to convey his greetings to President Duterte, expressing his aspirations of further advancement and prosperity to the Philippines and its people. His Royal Highness also hailed the advanced level of the Bahraini-Filipino relations has reached in various levels, which embodies the solid ties of cooperation between the two countries, as well as the mutual understanding and respect that binds them together. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the Filipino community in the Kingdom and their contributions to the Development March and asserted that this community receives utmost appreciation and respect. For his part, the Special Envoy to the GCC expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his keen interest to support and straighten bilateral ties and commended the care and attention the Filipino community receives at all levels. Under the directives of the President of the National Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard will conduct the Rayat Al Azwan exercise on Monday and Tuesday, 12th and 13th November in the Kingdom of Bahrain to test the command and control systems to achieve the highest levels of competence in performing the national duties of the National Guard as it is considered a military depth of the Bahrain Defense Force and a shield for the Ministry of the Interior. The exercise falls in line with the efforts being made to keep track of the preparedness and readiness of the force and coordinating efforts between National Guard units and battalions. The National Guard calls upon the citizens and residents to be informed. In the presence of the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Chairman of the Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Racing Club today organized the opening race for the season 2018-2019, which was held for the Cup of the late Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa in Isqir. The event was also attended by Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, as well as a crowd of horse racing enthusiasts. The Director General of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Tawfiq Sharaf al-Alawi, presented the Sakhir Cup to trainer Yusuf Tahir, while the General Manager of Abdul Hadi al-Afu Company, Abdul Rada al-Afu, presented to the Cup of the late Abdul Hadi al-Afu to the winning owner, Fadl Jama'a. A commemorative trophy was also presented to the trainer, Osama Hashim, and the rider, Andrew Elliott.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, to attend the graduation ceremony held by AMA International University Bahrain for its 14th batch of bachelor students. The celebration was attended by the Special Envoy of the Philippines, President of the GCC countries, Honorary President of AMA Educational System, and President of AMA International University, Dr. Aguilas, Education Minister, Dr. Majid al Senior officials, members of the diplomatic corps, and the graduates' parents. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Premier to the graduates and their families, as well as his best wishes of further success to them. He asserted that the government led by His Royal Highness places the educational sector among its priorities, given its key role in preparing generations with enough scientific and cultural knowledge that would enable them to contribute to ensuring a better present and future. Dr. Aguilas extended thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his annual patronage of the graduation ceremony and unwavering support to education. Education Minister and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid al lauded His Royal Highness's patronage of the ceremony, which reflects his constant support for the educational process in the kingdom and keenness to care for the human resources through investing in their education and training so as to enable them to contribute to the kingdom's progress march. Dr. Ninaimi extended congratulations to the graduates and their parents, wishing them further success.